Matt at Rough House Studios, and welcome to Cannabis Basics. Today, we're going to learn a super simple cannabis infused fudge recipe. This episode of Cannabis Basics is brought to you by the Seedsman 420 30 Days of 420 Special. Please visit seedsman.com to learn about their free seeds and new peyote strains. here's what you're going to need to make super simple cannabis fudge you need one 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips three tablespoons of cannabis infused butter or oil half a cup of chopped nuts which is optional and one tub of chocolate frosting it's a 16 ounce can if you're using nuts in this recipe i recommend go ahead and toasting those so while you're uh, toasting your nuts, you can go ahead and proceed with the next step. If not using nuts, just start with this step. Put your chocolate chips into a microwave safe dish. That's also going to be big enough to mix in. Then we're going to add in our three tablespoons of cannabis infused butter or oil. You could use either one. I'm actually using a mixture of both. And then we're going to put this in a microwave on medium to low heat for just two to maybe three minutes, just barely enough to melt the butter and get it started to melt the chips. Okay, you see that I just barely melted the butter and the chips still hold their shape, but you can see the bottom ones are starting to melt. And then I'm putting the toasted nuts on top there. They also kind of take advantage of their heat. If you're not using nuts, you still just go ahead and mix together the butter and the chips until it's like a glossy consistency. And you just barely want to melt it. Don't get too hot on the chips. And then you're going to add in the whole tub of frosting. And we're just using plain old generic frosting you can pretty much use any kind of brand nothing fancy nothing whipped or anything like that just regular frosting if you want it to be different flavors you could mix up the chips or you can mix up the frosting to different flavors but then you're basically just going to fold the frosting into those melted chips and butter just keep folding until you get it completely mixed you don't want to use a anything to whip air into it or anything to dry it out just do it by hand with a spatula and just whip it i mean just mix it until it's completely mixed together and at that point you're going to put it into a nine by nine or eight by eight square cake pan lined with wax paper don't use parchment you just really need wax paper here or something that'll fold down into the corners and then spread the fudge mixture out into the pan as evenly as possible i also like to give it a couple of pounds on the table just to get out any air bubbles and settle it down into the bottom of the pan then we're going to take that put it in the refrigerator or freezer After about an hour in the freezer or two to three hours in the refrigerator, you're going to be ready to take it out and then you can go ahead and slice it and serve it. It's ready to go with that. I like to keep this in the freezer or refrigerator. It's really good right out of the freezer. It doesn't get as hard as you might imagine. You can eat it right out of the freezer. It'll stay for a couple of weeks in the refrigerator for a few days. And I hope you enjoy this super simple fudge. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure to visit RoughHouseStudios.com for our hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thanks for watching.